can't, I don't even, I, I can't even see what I look like right now. Anyway, <laughs> I hate that I have to turn on all these lights and, and even still I can't see, really see myself. Um, you know, I'm just going to be, I'm just going to be authentic and I'm going to be comfortable. So here we go, I'm turning the lights off. Like that. And I guess this is fine. This is better than the half is facing me. Ugh. Oof. All right, here we go. It's horrible. Horrible. <laughs> this is my warm and fuzzy hat. I just finished eating dinner and I haven't brushed my teeth yet. So, um, forgive any. Hi. Yeah, forgive and here I. That's this is totally a model of my life. That's <laughs> exactly. Oh, so please forgive me if I, and then I show the whole mess. All right. Um, so, oh, hey, how about I look up there? Um, inspiration line is something I've had off and on for many years. And I really miss it sometimes. I don't have it right now because because of my root chakra issues. I can't figure out a way to, for years in a row, consistently be able to make automatic payments out of my bank account. It's a, it's an issue I've had for the longest time. So periodically I'll have the inspiration line because I'm paying a monthly fee to have it, which is a very low fee, usually 10, 10 or $15. And then every once in a while that'll be like, oh, I can't afford it. So then I don't have the inspiration line. And I always get a little weepy when I think about it because it's something that I so enjoy doing. And I loved um, knowing that people can just call anytime and hear my voice. And I can change the message as often as I want. So I was thinking that this morning. It's just stunning autumn weather in Philadelphia um, area, suburbs of. I'm a soft talker. I'm sorry. I, I, I love being a soft talker. I love being around other soft talkers. But then when I'm listening to a YouTube video and it's like, I can't hear. And so I'm sorry I'm not louder. I'm not going to try to be louder right now. Um, anyway, I um, I had a breakthrough yesterday or, yeah, where I realized there are things that I need, and I can apply, and, and I just saw how doable it would be to apply the same belief system and manifestation techniques that I've applied to reaching my creative dreams, such as making albums and writing and doing workshops and producing the Black Women's Arts Festival and having the Women's Writing and Spoken Word Series. And um, I can do those. Those are things that I want. When I want something in that realm, I feel like I can easily manifest it because I feel that I have the internal resources. When I think about, but I haven't thought about what I need because the things I need, the story that I made up is that I don't have the material resources. So therefore, I have no understanding of how I can manifest it. Like what I need is a place like to live. <laughs> um, you know, and that has been easy to manifest in the past, either because I've had income or because I've had what is required within to attract a soulmate to attract a mate that I would then live with. So that's happened several times in both of those situations, you know. Place to live because I can pay for it or or f meet somebody that I get along with whom I can live with or something like that. But now things are different. Now I need a place to live and I don't have the material resources. That's what I, the story I was telling myself, which is actually physically true, except that that's not true because I kind of do have some resources. So interesting how we think about things. And then the soulmate thing, I'm very good at manifesting soulmates, but my criteria has recently changed. It's so interesting. So there, so I'm kind of starting from scratch in that department as well, even though 
I do feel that I have certain resources, but first of all, I have the beard. That's not even the first thing, but that's part of it. And it, you know, it hasn't stopped me from finding love. However, there are, you know, compatibility issues and lifestyle issues. I really, I'm so excited about rebuilding, like just starting to be myself again in a new way. So I guess the inspiration is, um, the inspiration message is that everything is possible. Anything you want for yourself is possible, whether it's something that you want or it's something that you need. But don't be afraid to ask the questions and to explore because it's there. The answers are there. The resources are there. The means are there. The fact that you even desire it to begin with um, means you're, you're capable of achieving it. Either that or along the way of working on manifesting it or allowing it, you'll discover another option, which is equally or more attainable. So that's my inspiration message for the day. For now, my name is Cassandra Xavier, and I will, um, I'll be back again soon. Okay, thanks. Take care. Bye.